Tessie was a girl who loved to dance. She'd spin and twist, jolt and flex, point and thrust and gyrate. She moved in a way that most kindly be described as unusual. And if you were to be unkind, as many who bore witness were, then we might concede that she was strange. As Tessie grew older, the issue persisted. Indeed, it flourished. Her limbs poised, her eyes closed. She'd sculpt the air around her. She did not notice the glances, the giggles, the whispers, the stares, or him. The boy who found himself as much enraptured in her undulating bliss as she. The boy did the bravest, most important thing he would ever do, and their hands touch, their eyes meet, and life unfurls. The years flitted by, hairs grayed, retinas dimmed, and love matured. We see our boy, a man now. But where is she, the wife? Tessie. Ah, of course. He strides with purpose out to far-flung acre. The music grows louder, his theory more certain. Ah, there she is. He waits, lingers, admires. Tessie was a girl who loved to dance. Why, I hear you ask, should I care? There are many girls out there who love to dance. They wear pumps and tutus and announce to the world, when I grow up, I'm going to be a ballerina. Tessie is not that girl. She never owned a tutu. Her plans were more ambitious, her dancing destined for a far greater stage. She moves with a rigor that belies her years, focused, driven, driving, but to where, to what? A woman in her prime? A prime minister.